Hello, it's a new day and new workout for us. We're going to work on our lower body strength and flexibility for today. And let's start straight away with quick warm up. And we will need today something to slide on the floor. I have a slider, but you don't need if you don't have maybe socks or small pillow. Whatever you have around that can slide on your floor. If you can't find balance in this exercise, uh, quit. I'm joking. Uh, hold the wall or hold the chair, it's fine. Especially if you are doing it early morning, sometimes your muscles still not engaged, your body still needs to wake up as well, so assist yourself and walk. And circles. It's still sunrise. And I can see actually from the window, sun is coming up. So nice. And back. To warm up our knees a little bit. And press forward and up. Press and up. Press and up. Slow squat. We press our knees as wide as possible with our elbows and straighten our back. Shoulder blades together. Push. Open your hips. Put your fingers down, stretch, and down, and five times, two, three, four, and five, twist yourself, and switch, Nice. So we will start. We have three rounds of four exercises for our legs strength and preparation for flexibility. It's our warm up today. So our first exercise is lateral swings. I want you to pay attention to the form you maintain. You're going to lay down on anything around you. If you have a chair, use a chair wall, whatever, so we need to relax our upper body, lay. If you need to bend a little bit your knees, it's fine. If you want to be a little bit higher, it's fine, but make sure you're pushing your hips as far as possible back and trying to keep your lower back relaxed. No, not here, not face but extend it as much as possible. So we're gonna swing our leg straight to the side 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then twist yourself. I'm gonna hold here. Yeah, nice. And another side. One, two, Three, push your hips back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. Easy, huh? Little bit burning already. So, and second exercise is white plie. And uh, if you have empty wall, use a wall first and slide facing the wall down. Uh, yeah, I will show you once in front of the wall and then we continue all together. Uh, legs a bit wider, so when you sit down, it's approximately 90 degrees in your knees. Squeeze your glutes, tuck your tailbone forward and push your knees out as much as possible so you are not sliding on the wall with your knees. But you're Opening your knees as much as possible 
and up. If you are losing the balance, you can always close your feet a little bit towards the wall. It's going to be a bit easier to balance, but it's still going to be challenging in your hips. So I will face you, but I would prefer if you face the wall. So you open as much as possible. And let's go. One, no rush, push yourself down. Two, three, tuck your tailbone every time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Table top. Here we're gonna go. I show once and then we do together. We're gonna go for five circles forward, five circles back, five taps the floor and hold five seconds together. What I want you to focus on, it's fine if you little bit lean to the side, it's fine. It's fine if you feel sometimes poor in this exercise, a bit more than glutes happens. Um, but we will slowly, slowly focus more on our glutes, so you will feel the engagement more and more. And your heel is straight to the side. So sometimes you're not going to realize, but your leg is here. I want you to make sure you every time maintain 90 degrees in the hip and your heel is going straight to the side. And let's start circles. One, two, three, four, five, opposite way. One, two, three, four, five, tap. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Great. Switch the side. Straight to the side. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Step. One, two, three, four, five. And hold. One, two, three, four, five. Great. And side lunges. Here, I prefer if you do in front of the mirror first or make yourself a video. Because uh, we want to maintain 45 degrees, open your feet and knee, approximately. Find your comfortable angle and bring your knee straight on top of your foot. This is first. Second, I want your shoulder will be straight in front, hips straight, and shoulders on top of your hips. So what I usually see is twisting a lot to the side. What I actually need is maintaining straight body, but your knee still open. So it's not here, it's not here, but it's angle between your knee and your body, your trunk. Let's go 10 times, one side and then switch the side. Sit as low as possible, bring your glutes down, down low. <laughs> one, two, three, four, straight knee, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten switch one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten great this is all around and if you need half minute rest, 
it's fine, get some water, but actually I think we can just continue. And it's not a cardio, yeah, anytime you need rest, take your rest. One minute to two minutes is maximum. If you rest more than two minutes, you can start over. And let's go lateral swings. Bring your hips as far as possible. Don't lean to the wall, just push yourself from the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I will go. Good deal to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Plie. Again, I would prefer if you do it in front of the wall. Open. And let's go as low as possible. Squeeze your glutes. One. Imagine yourself on body class. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Table top. Heel straight to the side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then. One, two, three, four, five. And hold. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. And let's go circles. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Depths. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. And up. And side lunges. Open to comfortable level. 45 degrees, and let's go. Proud chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Breathe deep, thirty seconds, and we will continue. By now you already should feel that you are opening your hips, your glutes are engaged, and it's gonna help us in our flexibility goals. And three and two, get ready and start. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch the side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Plie. One, Two, three, as low as possible. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. Thank you.
table top, five circles, five circle steps, and hold. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Step. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Step. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. And lateral lunges, side lunges. Let's go. One, imagine the wall in front of you, so you maintain proud open chest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. So from here you're gonna take your slider, your pillow, or put your socks on, whatever you have. And just in case, keep nearby some chair or a small table or blocks if you have. Just assist yourself if you're losing control of the exercise, if you're losing the balance, if you slide the floor. So our first exercise for our flexibility level, we're going to stay on our knee and one leg to the side. So the option is external rotation and internal rotation. It's up to you and you can choose for yourself. Usually I do internal rotation for myself because I have a bit over extension of my knee. So my knee is going more down and I don't want to increase it. So I close it. But if you feel tension in your knee this way, you can switch. But make sure if you are rotating your hip, your leg is going twist, but not your hips. So this is not rotation. Yeah? So this is. So hips still straight forward. And we're gonna slide 10 times. Again, if you need to assist yourself, assist yourself with something in front. Our shoulders are going in line with our hips. We slide out one. We are not using momentum. We are not sliding as far as possible. And no. Use only your leg straps. So you slide as far as possible from where you can still squeeze your legs and come up without using your shoulder momentum. Let's go, 10 times. One, two, three, four. If you need a pillow underneath, use it. Or a towel, probably something soft. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. Switch the leg. I'm going to slide towards you. Make sure you're sliding straight to the side. Your leg is not going back or forward too much. Straight to the side. Squeeze your glutes. Hips in front. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Great. From here we're gonna go to frog pose. I will go a little bit sideways so you can see what I'm doing. Please check 90 degrees in your knee, 90 degrees in your feet, in your ankle. And go as wide as possible for now with your knees. And we're gonna just swing back and forward 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. And the third exercise in the set will be pancake. So here we go. Open as wide as possible. If you have really open windows, please. So just open to 45 degrees. And if you can't straighten your back in this position, you can bend your knees and make this, make this exercise with bent knees all the time. Why? Because I want to maintain straight back. And when we go forward, it's still going to be straight back extended. So if you are here, I don't need to do exercise this way. I want you to bend your knees, maybe close a little bit legs, extend your back, push your knees open, and go from here. And you don't need to go as low as possible, just as far as possible with straight back. Even if it's one centimeter, it's going to be great. Because we're still going to progress slow but steady. Let's go 10 folds. One, always engage your quads. Two, open your legs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. And last one in this set. I'm gonna challenge you a little bit more. And I will go sideways. You don't change the position. And you can round your back and assist with your arms in front or backwards is fine. I want you to raise your legs ten times. So engage as much as possible use your abs and hip flexor and one if it's too challenging around more it's fine you can start here but we need to raise it even if it's going to be tiny 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 raise slowly we will teach our body to what muscles to engage yeah let's go together one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Amazing. And we will repeat one more time and three for today. We will make it soft for my knee and we slide to the side. One, two, maybe you feel you can go lower already. Three, great. Four, still using only your legs. Five, six, seven, eight. Don't press on your knee area with your hand. Eight, nine, and ten. This is 
So yeah. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And frog. I will change the position of my mat so you can see me sideways. 90 degrees in your knees, in your ankles and hips. This is starting point. So what I want you to focus on on the second round is your lower back, your core. We are not losing it, not bending it too much for now. Just neutral spine. So, not too much, not too much, just here. One, two, because it's going to be just too, too intense if you bend uh, a lot, if you lose your core. So just try to keep it straight. And then what's the counting? Let's say eight, nine, ten, and ten more. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then bring in and bend it. So once again, if you need to bend your knees to straighten your back, it's fine. Just make sure you're extending your spine as much as possible. And even if you go tiny movement, it's great. We are working on our mobility, not just passive stretch, yeah? Uh, so we want our muscles to engage and help us. Open, external rotation. Don't lose your feet in front, always. Pushing out. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's my exercise for today. I know, so it's a challenging one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We can swing side to side, release our hips, stand up. Release. And have a nice day. I'm waiting for your reports.